Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show. Well, this Cricket Happening Show, probably I could have brought the report on the uh, first one-day international of the series, which was going to kick off today. Uh, but unfortunately, at Palakele, it has been raining cats and dogs, and the match was washed out. So the first one-day international between Sri Lanka and New Zealand has been washed out. So what it does for me is basically gives me a chance to only cover some cricket news. Now, as far as uh, Sri Lanka New Zealand series is concerned, the 2020 was also gone. Uh, the full match was not being played. The first one-day international has been washed out. The news is not so good for the second one-day international, which is coming up at Colombo, second and third one-day international. I'm told uh, the rain has been uh, prevalent over there. And um, I, again, one has to keep our fingers crossed and wait for the second or third one-day international between New Zealand and Sri Lanka to begin when it is played in Colombo, probably one or two days' time, in two days' time. Well, so uh, just going away from here, as I said, we will be into the cricket news. So let's look at the at the match which is happening between England 11 and India A. As you know, England are on a tour of India right now. And uh, well, yesterday, uh, Alistair Cook uh, was gone for 119 with 14 boundaries. But the good thing about it was Samit Patel uh, managed to reach a century. He made 104 with 14 fours. And that is something that uh, the English selectors would be really looking at and, you know, they would be happy that Samit Patel has hit some good form with the bat too because normally he has been considered a baller but uh, well he has been scoring well in the uh, English domestic scene but uh, today it was uh, it was really one has to really credit this knock that Samit Patel played today of 104. Uh, well uh, there was there were some good hits for Matt Pryor the wicket keeper he got a good knock of 51 under his belt with 9 fours. Tim Bresnan uh, had an unbeaten 33 to his name with 4 fours and 1 6 so uh, all in all it was uh, it's a good outing for England and the 426 all out and so now we are going into the uh, f in fact the match is drawn because there was it was only only a uh, three day a uh, three day match here and the match is drawn with india a um, in, in fact i thought england bowlers uh, bowled well uh, to have india at 120 india a 124 for four uh, abhinav failed he was gone for three uh, murli vijay was out for 32 four fours one six ajinkya rahani 54 uh, with six fours, uh, Yuvraj Singh couldn't do much. He was gone for 14 uh, with one boundary. At left, Siddharth Ryan, the captain, uh, who failed in the first innings uh, to get to an unbeaten 19 uh, with four boundaries, and Manoj Tiwari was not on two. But one thing that I would like to talk here is Yuvraj Singh's bowling. Yuvraj Singh was the bowler uh, who bowled excellently, uh, 26.5 overs, one maiden, 94 runs, and five wickets. So probably. Uh, Yuvraj Singh, one can say, he has operated like a frontline spinner uh, and got the wickets. So, if you if you look at it, well, he did get some top wickets there of Kevin Peterson, Ian Bell, Samit Patel, Matt Pryor, and then James Harrison. So, uh, so probably uh, it's a good augury for India that uh, Yuvraj Singh probably is trying to develop his left arm spin as good as his batting, so that you know he could be a real force like an all-rounder and probably. Uh, Yuvraj Singh can also uh, cement a place in the in the test scheme of things. Uh, probably that, that that that's probably the idea for Yuvraj Singh because the way he bowled it was superb. Five for 94 in 26.5 overs. As far as the English bowlers were concerned, Anderson had two for 20, one for 37 for Bresnan, and one for 40 for Samit Patel. So the match drawn, and uh, that's the uh, two matches gone. So the next match which is coming up is Mumbai A would be taking on the England 11 at the Brabourne Stadium uh, in Mumbai. That is on 3rd of November. Well, now the other news that I like to talk about uh, very quickly here is that uh, the English uh, county side, Surrey, uh, have gone for the uh, former South African captain, uh, Graham Smith. They have inducted Graham Smith as the uh, captain uh, of the uh, Surrey team. And in fact, they have given him a three-year contract. So. Uh, that says something about Graham Smith. Well, he has been a very successful captain for South Africa. So I thought uh, that was a very, very good move uh, by Surrey to uh, grab him and make him give him a three-year contract. Now, the other news uh, that I have here uh, is uh, coming in from New Zealand, where one would have remembered uh, at once upon a time uh, there were two spinners from uh, New Zealand who were hunting in pairs, so Stephen Bock and uh, John Bracewell. So Stephen Bock uh, has been named the New Zealand cricket new president. So that is the news which is coming up. Well, other than that, dear fans, friends and subscribers, I don't have anything else to share. Um, yesterday, well, I really, uh, I mean, you should have seen my uh, previous video where uh, 
I talked about the day night test matches uh, which are coming up but I didn't find any response from anybody uh, talking about the day night cricket uh, I, wouldn't, I, I wonder whether you people have really uh, seen that broadcast of mine or probably uh, you are right to see it but as in when uh, dear friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings if you see that I would definitely love to hear your comments on uh, day night cricket test matches uh, being day night cricket test matches being introduced what do you think about the uh, ICC um, uh, option or the ICC um, uh, policy or the ICC um, uh, I mean ICC deciding uh, to actually introduce day night test match cricket uh, um, into international cricket so I would like to know your views so once again uh, have a look at that uh, audio or video of mine and then uh, come come up with your comments okay uh, thanks for your company and thanks for watching cricket happenings as always and this is your host Ram signing off today thank you